Ladies and gentlemen, children of the interwebs out there, Sebastian Envy, Shinora Style Cinephile, and we got ourselves an Ant-Man and Wasp Quantumania trailer. Let's geek about it for a scan few minutes. Now, we didn't get a sort of point A to point B uh, layout of the plot, thankfully. We just got some nuggets to kind of make us think on kind of how things could be and how things could go, which, of course, it's a Marvel trailer. We're expecting some bait-and-switch action going on. Now, it opened with Cassie, Cassie Lang, who they recasted for this, which I'm assuming is because Cassie gonna be, is going to be going forth in the movies, either tied to a young Avengers team, if they kind of splinter off that way with the next two Avengers movies, Kang Dynasty and uh, Secret Wars, I think it is, um, or if they just keep like all one Avengers team, regardless of teenage members or what have you, um, I think they're a recast looking ahead to that but she's showing off this uh, quantum satellite device thingy that is basically calling to the quantum realm which janet says hey turn it off and gets kind of scared skittish about it doesn't happen they all get sucked into the quantum realm one of the things i'm looking forward to in this is kind of seeing a little bit more screen time with um hank and janet with uh, michael douglas michelle pfeiffer getting more screen time in this, we find out that uh, there's some secret that Janet has been holding, some maybe shady business she did in the quantum realm, because the quantum realm before seemed to be just this random sort of place with big, basically just shapes and colors and just crazy stuff. And now we know it's, it's a full-on universe with life forms and structures and um, all those, I guess, regular world type of things, which we're going to encounter different tribes and, and personalities and populations and this and that. And it seems to be in the movie, again, bait and switch. We know how they do with these trailers, it seems. We see that Scott and Cassie kind of get thrown over here, and then Hope, Janet, and Hank are over here, it seems. And we're going to find out about some of these shady things. Maybe she teamed up with uh, a population because she survived in the quantum realm for many, many years. So it stands to reason that she had to do some things she might not be proud of to side with some, maybe there's like some sort of like uh, monstrous population or people or dictator, you know, that type of thing. She had to side with them, do favors for them or, you know, whatever in order to survive, to get shelter, to get food, to get the stuff she needed to survive all that time she was in the quantum realm and all this stuff is going to come back to roost and we're going to find that out. Remains to be seen. We know that Kang is in the trailer. Jonathan Majors. We've known he's going to be Kang for a while. We saw him at the end of Loki playing a version of Kang in that really, really boring exposition dump last episode of the first season. And now we're going to see him in this in proper sort of Kang-ish attire. Stands the reason that once he puts on the helmet, the mask will come down. It's like a battle mask and that kind of gives him the proper sort of comic booky Kang face or whatever. But uh, we hear him voiceover saying that if he, Scott helps him he'll help him get home so i'm kind of wondering if this kang that's going to come forth and be in the next couple of movies the avengers movies kind of be that problem that they have to deal with if that's coming from here maybe he's like stuck in some kind of way where he's at or his he can't maybe he can come through or open up a, a portal or whatever but he can't bring his whole entire army which he wants to do and somehow scott's going to get hoodwinked into helping him do whatever he needs to do to get himself plus his army here, you know, to Earth to conquer it or what have you. It remains to be seen. We just saw glimpses and heard a voice. You know, we haven't seen or just really have anything to go on as far as like his motivations and the plot. And that's good. That is awesome. Like I said, we just got some nuggets. We see Cassie cause the problem. We see um, Janet having to deal with some stuff from her past, which may strain some relationships with uh, her daughter and her husband. Might see some, some characterization, some growth there. That's good. We'll see Cassie and Scott off here doing stuff, bonding, growing, natural development of relationships, stuff like that. Just good character building type stuff around all the crazy CG stuff that's going to go on. I'm sure we're going to meet some sort of cutesy animal type of characters that are going to sell some merchandise for Disney and you know all this regular sort of marvel stuff but again we don't know much about it bait and switch remains to be seen how things play out i'm here for it i have enjoyed the ant-man movies uh, to this point 
it's February 17th next year. We got a wild wait for it. Hopefully they won't have like 50 million other trailers and commercial spots that basically spoil the movie and lay it out, you know, A to Z, but it's kind of what they do sometimes it remains to be seen how it all plays out. But again, I'm here for it. But those are my thoughts on it. Scatters they often are. What do you guys out there think? Let me know in the comments below. Follow me on social media. Talk to me there. Talk to me here. Until next time, I'm Geek.